bring our legs together, extend the right leg back and just go a little bit lower. You try to put your heel down, but you don't have to. Start slowly and I'm feeling the stretch in my leg. Even my back is stretching a little bit. You can stretch back and front. You have a good solid grip, so you're not going to go anywhere. And I'm stretching my legs. It feels good. You don't need to rush. And slowly we're going to switch and do the same thing on the left leg. It's amazing how good that feels. Keep your shoulders down. You can stretch your neck a little bit in case you're bored. And legs together. Moving on. You don't have to be vegetarian to stretch your hamstring. For a while, when I didn't speak English, I thought, I thought that I have to buy a piece of ham and stretch it. That's how silly I was, but luckily I learned. Have a, your support, bring your right leg forward and just lean until you feel this little bit of a pull. Don't go any further necessarily. You just want to stretch. You don't want to hurt yourself. So let's just stay here for a little while. Feel it all the way up and down leg. Keep your back flat and breathe. Good one. And you can get a little bit lower as you get a little bit warmer you feel the stretch but always start carefully. And we'll switch. Again, I'm doing everything deliberately and slowly, so you get the idea. We don't want to plop into any of these movements. We just want to stretch. See, you feel it working. You feel it loosening up. First it feels really tight, but then it feels a lot looser. Breathe into the pain if you have any, but hopefully not too much pain. It's really working, I can tell. I'm going to stretch my thighs. They have a scientific name too, but we'll just call it the thighs for now. There's a little bench here, and you can use a chair, you can use a bench. In other words, make this world your health club. We didn't build this exactly for this particular segment of stretching. But there's a little bench and you can rest your foot on the bench. And just slowly, if you need to stretch it, you can lower yourself and bring yourself up. This is very important for us. We want stability. So. It's a lot easier having a little bench there. So while stretching my quad muscles, I'm going to slightly push my pelvis forward to give it a little bit more stretch. This is my normal stance. But by pushing my pelvis slightly forward and the chest as well, I feel the stretching all the way down my upper thigh. It feels really good. So this is normal. This is pushing it just a little bit, chest up. I'm going to have a suntan that costs a million dollars. All right, let's switch sides. Good grip. And when I feel that my leg is stretching, I want to give it a little bit more stretch by doing a little knee bend. And I'm totally secure because I have a good hold here. And you can use a bench in the park. Stretch against the tree. And breathe. 
and I'm gonna push my pelvis forward. Boy, that really stretches everything in your upper thigh. And push forward. It's nice and warm. Moving on to our gluteus maximus, otherwise known as uh, the butt, we're going to stretch it gently. I'm going to place my right foot over my left knee, and I would advise to get a hold of your foot because even just sitting in this position, and I have a good support here, boy, do you feel a stretch in your gluteus and in the maximus too. Oh. If it could sing, it would tell stories. Oh, this is so good. And as you get a little bit more stretched, a little warmer, you can get a little deeper by bending your left leg, getting a maximum stretch. That's good. And of course, we're gonna do it on the other leg too. Maybe 20 to 30 seconds, as long as you can hold it. And let's switch, get a hold of it, put it right up against your right knee. And I'm stretching at first very gently, just to get the feel for it. And I'm very stable, I have my support, I have my support. And just lower it just a little bit as you feel you're getting warmer. Breathe. Good one. A little bit more and good. Now we can stretch our back. We've been doing a lot of stuff standing up, so it's a good time to stretch our back. You can get some support and make a flat back. And just hold it for a few seconds. It releases your back. If you feel more comfortable, you can get a little lower, don't lose your support. You can get a hold of behind your knees and just arch your back a little bit. If you need your support, stay with your support. Arch your back a little bit and flat. It's a great stretch for your lower back. And slowly roll up so you don't get dizzy. Feels good. Let's do something for our neck. Our neck does something special when we have PD. It does this. And then we lose our expression. Well, we don't want to lose our expression or flexibility in our neck. So we want to use our neck as freely as possible the way we want to use it. So forward stretch. And always come back to center. You can take as much time as you want. If you want additional help, you can use your arms and push gently. Did you hear me? Gently. And stretch back. And stretch to the side. Back to center, stretch to the side. And you can repeat it as many times as you need to. So we go forward and back, side to side. That's all you need to do, really. You can also stretch by looking to the right. You notice I'm doing everything deliberately and slowly. And back to center, stretch to the left. And back to center, and repeat. Forward, center, slowly. Okay. The wind is blowing, that's why I need to hold on to something. And then we look, great stretch for the neck. You want to be in complete control of your neck. You want a little bit more stretch, use your arm. 
Just don't fall asleep and scare yourself. Ah! It's your own arm. And the other way. <laughs>